How's it going guys? JCVP11 here for GN Tech and I'm in my car and I'm in the parking of Dubai Mall. Yeah, we're comparing both the OnePlus 5 and the LG G6's cameras to see which one has the better camera. So this is from the front facing cameras on both of these devices and you can tell for yourself which phone is doing a better job. I'm going to be switching between the audio that the phones are recording as well throughout this video for you guys to get an understanding of which phone can capture audio better as well. After this segment, we're gonna go inside and see which camera performs better indoors as well as outdoors and just take a few pictures, a few video clips from both of these cameras, put them together to find out which phone has the better camera out of the two. So with that said, let's go ahead and go inside the mall. And we are indoors. So, as you might be able to tell, this is the ice rink down here. And no, it's not uh, London. It is Dubai Mall. And we're walking towards the Burj Khalifa. That's where I'm going to be taking most of the outdoor shots. But this will let you judge how the stabilization on the front facing cameras on both of these devices is. As you can see, the OnePlus 5's camera in general is a little bit more wide angle, but I can fix that on the LG G6 by switching to the wide angle mode. So now you can see the LG G6 and the OnePlus 5 both have almost the same um, coverage of the picture. And in terms of quality, you can be the judge of that. But from what I'm seeing on screen, I do think the OnePlus 5 looks a bit more natural compared to the LG G6. Now let's go outdoors. So now that we're at this beautiful place near Burj Khalifa and this waterfront, I wanted to take this opportunity to go over the stabilization on both of these smartphone cameras. The OnePlus 5 and the LG G6 are both recording in 4K, but the OnePlus 5 doesn't have any sort of stabilization on the 4K option. There's no electronic image stabilization and an update is due to fix this, but I haven't got it. On the other hand, the LG G6 does have optical image stabilization and so you can judge for yourself which footage comes out a bit more stable. I'm gonna go for a quick jog to test the stabilization once again and you'll be able to tell which sort of footage looks better and from what I'm seeing right now, I do think the LG G6 is a little bit better but a more informed decision will only be made once I check it out in post-production when I'm editing this video. And while I'm at it, I only thought it would be fair if I test the 1080p video footage from the OnePlus 5 and the LG G6 as well because, you know, the OnePlus 5 has electronic image stabilization for 1080p footage. So this will actually give you a great insight as to which phone is more capable when capturing 1080p video, the OnePlus 5 or the LG G6 with optical image stabilization. And lastly, sort of before we move into picture samples from both of these phones, I wanted to really highlight some of the most unique features about both of these handsets. So with the telephoto lens on the OnePlus 5, you get two times zoom without losing any sort of quality. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. Boom, that is two times zoom on the OnePlus 5. Whereas on the LG G6, if you zoom in, you sort of start to lose a bit of quality. All right, I'm just gonna step in here and highlight why the LG G6 looks better despite of the lossless zoom on the OnePlus 5. The reason is simply because the G6 captures considerably more detail in its 4K video. Now back over to the footage. But the unique thing about the LG G6 though is that you get a wide angle lens and this is really, really breathtaking. If we switch over back to one time zoom on the OnePlus 5, you can judge how much more detail and how much more sort of coverage you get with the LG G6. You get enough coverage to actually film the whole of Burj Khalifa without actually bending down, which I think is a really, really good feature. And I commend LG for doing this. You get this sort of fisheye look to images, but I don't mind that, especially when you can capture this much detail in a picture but that is something unique from both of these smartphones and yeah with that said now let's move on to some image 
samples. So in this first image, I think the LG G6 represents color much better with the more vibrant sky, but there's a bit more detail on the OnePlus 5's image because of the higher megapixel sensor. Here again, I'm impressed by the LG G6's picture, with the OnePlus 5 swaying more towards the dull side. Even when zooming in 100%, the LG G6 maintains a good amount of detail over the OnePlus 5. Now I thought I'd throw in Dubai's traditional car picture in here as well. Here the skyline in the background and so the dynamic range for the LG G6 is really good, but the OnePlus 5 manages more detail over on the shadows towards the left of the Bentley Bentayga. Now here's a picture using portrait mode on the OnePlus 5 and the normal mode on the LG G6. Of course you can't get the blurry background effect from the G6, but I think that the G6's picture looks a bit more natural compared to the OnePlus 5. There's a real dark tinge to my face from the OnePlus 5's camera and I think my face is a bit over sharpened. Indoors, portrait mode on the OnePlus 5 in this case is working much better. The subject is better exposed and the blurry background really makes for an impressive picture, whereas the G6 in this case seems to be struggling a bit. Up next is a picture of the Dubai Mall Souk, and I think both phones are doing a great job here. The OnePlus 5 seems to be a bit more contrasty, and here I thought I'd give the telephoto lens on the OnePlus 5 a test. I zoomed in about the same on the LG G6 as well, and the loss in quality was pretty negligible. I'm not seeing why the telephoto lens is such a big deal. And I even switched to the wide angle mode on the G6 to take the same picture, which captures way more detail. So would you prefer a telephoto lens or a wide angle lens? Let me know in the comments down below. Moving to selfies, I think the OnePlus 5 is the clear winner. There's much more dynamic range to pictures and I look way more natural. The field of view on the G6 is also a bit more narrow and even when switching to the wide angle mode on the LG G6, the OnePlus 5 remains better. Over at night, I think the G6 is the better of the two in this picture. It exposes the plants and the hotel behind really well and there's a little bit less noise. However, the light on the left is much better controlled on the OnePlus 5. Next up, the picture of the tree bark. The G6 seems to be doing a very, very good job capturing detail, whereas the OnePlus 5's picture is just a bit too dark, and zooming in proves the point further. Lastly, in this still, I think both phones are doing good. The OnePlus 5 controls light much better, as you might see over on the car side of the picture, but the G6 just has more detail when you look at the top of the picture. As far as selfies, at night are concerned, the OnePlus 5 definitely beats the LG G6 once again in terms of detail and how natural the picture looks. So then, which camera is better? I think for video recording, the LG G6 definitely outclasses the OnePlus 5 in terms of both detail and stability from the primary camera, but the OnePlus 5 is the better camera for front-facing video. Both phones do a good job of recording audio, but I think the LG G6 comes out on top here. For pictures, day shots don't have major differences, but the G6 has the better dynamic range in most pictures. The OnePlus 5 has portrait mode as well as the telephoto lens, whereas the G6 has the wide-angle lens, so the choice on which camera is better comes down to personal preference. At night though, I think the LG G6 is the better camera. Once again, if you're in it for the selfies though, the OnePlus 5 is the clear winner when taking selfies at night. It's interesting to see how both of these phones now sell at the same price. So let me know which camera impressed you the most and definitely subscribe for more videos like this one in the near future. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.